I will be printing this advanced level screen printing six color simulated process on a black t-shirt using Plastisol ink. This is slightly advanced level because we'll be using gray as first base after that white second base to achieve this highly detailed work on the design. My name is Ricky, I'm from Assam, India and let's begin. One of the most important thing before you start printing is to spray some adhesive on the platen so the t-shirt doesn't move. The second most important thing is to load the t-shirt straight and if you see the way I load my t-shirt, I not only check on the, on the top of the t-shirt but also on the bottom and also the the allowance that I have on the side seam so that I know exactly the t-shirt is straight before I print. For this design, I'm going to start off with grey as the first base to give the solid foundation to the rest of the colors that I'm going to screen print. So we are going to uh, code only one time for this grey and then we will followed by two coats of white and the base. You can see that the details are already starting to appear with a first coat of grey. After this, we are going to give the white base and you will see more clearer. By putting grey as first coat, after we print the white, you can see that the details are so crisp and clear. So this gives us the perfect foundation for the rest of the colors to be printed. And then we will be able to get all those tiny details uh, of, uh, in the artwork and we can see the effects really sharp and clear. So after the second coat of white, now everything is clear, it's sharp, all the prints are coming well. Now whenever we apply the rest of the colors, it will give that nice opaque and also not losing any details in the artwork. So after printing the bases, we are going to proceed with our main colors. The first up is red and after printing this color, you'll see that the designs uh, will start to pop up and then we'll see some of the details really nice. The red is giving us that pop to the design. And then later on when we mix the other colors, the details in the artwork will show up even more. So I'll be uh, printing two layers of red to achieve this bright red on the design. And also uh, when we mix the uh, other colors, uh, we want to achieve that brightness and opaqueness in the overall design. So 
with this uh, you can see that our red is is very sharp and after this we are going to print the second stroke and it will give even more detail to the design So after printing the two layers of red, you can see the details are starting to pop up and then all the highlights and all the details are even more clearer and this will give us a very good foundation for our colors to come. So there are many tiny details in this design and I don't know if you can see um, there are tiny dots of blue details that is going on on this design so with just one stroke of blue we are able to achieve this because we had very nice base that we earlier printed. So far so good and you can see the results that is showing up in the screen. We have got a very nice details going on in this design. We have two more colors to print and you'll see the magic in some time. So you can see the purple is giving us that very nice vintage finish to the design and you can see all the details now really popping up. You can see the tiny details that is there in the design uh, is really showing off and the fine details that we are able to get this uh, from our print is amazing. So after this we are going to uh, print the last color which is the highlight white so that it gives more realistic or finish to the design. So you can see after the highlight white things are really really looking very good and you know it is highlighting all those tiny details even more so that it looks very realistic in the print you know this design has multiple uh, uh, things or techniques you can say first of all you know there is half tone effects on the Jesus design and then there are letters which need to be sharp you know so this is all done by using Photoshop uh, Photoshop color separations and we have to be very mindful in not uh, giving that uh, you know edges on the letters especially on the letters you know with the halftone effects so this is slightly advanced level you know both in terms of color separations and also printing you have to uh, I really had to make some custom colors especially that purple to achieve this kind of printing effect so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and maybe you have uh, you know better understanding of how screen printing works you can if you have the will achieve any kind of prints or design uh, with screen printing and you know it really is an amazing piece of work thank you all for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel uh, share the like button and also press the bell icon so that you can always always be on alert whenever i upload new things so don't forget also, don't forget to uh, follow us on Instagram. Thank you and have a good time.